let's create this bleach bypass look using Affinity Photo. Bleach bypass is a look which has its roots from the old days where a color film was developed using a chemical process. During that process the bleaching of the film is skipped, retaining the silver on the film. This results in a black and white image over a color image. To maximize this effect, filmmakers also use a lower exposure. Well, that sounds simple to reproduce. Let's switch to Affinity and apply the steps to this sample photo. First thing I like to do is to balance the color for which I am using the scopes panel. I did a video in the past about the scopes panel and a link will be in the description if you're interested. I will add a curves adjustment and lower the reds which will push down the red scope and then increase the blues so that the colors are more in balance. Notice how the image has a more neutral color with stronger whites. Next step is to lower the exposure which we can do by adding an exposure adjustment. Usually a value around minus one will do the job. We now need a black and white version of the image which we can easily get by duplicating the original image, moving it to the top of the layer stack and then applying a black and white adjustment to it. Let's also make sure that the black and white adjustment is being clipped only to the duplicate by making it a child layer. For the black and white adjustment, just adjust it to your liking where you have a nice contrasty look. To get the beach bypass look we need to blend this in with the original image. Depending on what you're going for, you can use the overlay or hard light blend mode which really boosts up the contrast or use the average blend mode for a more flat look. I'll go with hard light. Most of the time the effect of this black and white layer will be too strong but before fine tuning it I'm going to add a diffuse glow on top of it to make it more cinematic but it will also fix the very dark contrast. So from the live filters let's select diffuse glow and make sure it is on top of the layer stack and not a child of the black and white layer. Increase the radius and intensity until you see a nice glowy blur. Perfect. Now I'm going to use this glow to brighten the image. So instead of applying this in normal blend mode, I'm going to switch it to the screen blend mode. The idea was to brighten the darker areas only. So let's change the blend range so it gradually fades away to the highlights. Awesome. And here is our bleach bypass. Let's look at the before and the after. Pretty nice. Remember I balanced the image at the beginning. Well, this was an optional step. I can disable it and notice how you get a much warmer look. But usually I like the beach bypass effect to have a bit of a cold look. We can fine tune the layers to improve the end result, but in this image I think it turned out pretty nice. Let's apply it to this image and show you how we can fine tune it after we applied the steps. So again, here are the same steps. I'll switch the scope to RGB Parade and use the curves to balance the image a tiny bit. Just as before, an exposure adjustment to lower the exposure, followed by a copy of the image with a black and white adjustment. In the black and white adjustment, I will fine tune the color until I have this nice look, where especially the sky gets a bit more contrast. Time to apply this black and white result in hard light and to finish up, let's add the diffuse glow adjustment in screen blend mode with the adjusted blend range. Awesome! We now have completed the basic steps. Here are some tips to fine tune it. First, notice how the diffuse glow layer brightens the image a bit too much, but by lowering the opacity we can dim the effect. Coming to the black and white image in hard light, most of the time I will lower the fill opacity in the blend options to about 70%. Nice, let's check the before and the after. Awesome, I think this looks pretty good to me. Let me switch back to the starting image and see what I did there. 
as you can see, the same steps were applied. A curves layer to balance the image, followed by the exposure adjustment to lower the exposure. Of course, a black and white image in hard light blend mode with on top the diffuse glow layer. And the final layer is the original image again, which I use for comparison purposes. Pretty slick. You might notice I skipped a layer, which was the layer for halation. It is a very subtle effect. When I zoom in, you can see the red halation. It just gives that extra cinematic look to an image. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video on this topic. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. See you in the next video. At the sunny beach I took a stroll, my eyes caught something funny, a sight to behold. A bottle of bleach lay abundant on the sand, with a sign that said, warning, don't take this as a tan. Curiosity got the better of me, oh dear, I picked it up thinking, what harm is there? But as I opened the cap, the pungent smell arose. I quickly close it as my nose nearly froze. A bypass sign caught my eye up ahead. A detour suggested, so I followed instead. But in my distraction, I stumbled and tripped, landing face first in the sand feeling quite stripped. People passing by, they started to look at the sight of a beach bum covered in muck with bleach in my hair and sand in my clothes. I resembled a creature nobody knows. I rose to my feet, a bit dazed and confused, and realized my beach day was far from amused. Bypassing the fun, I created my own mess. With bleach as my sidekick, what a fine distress. So heed my advice. Fellow beach gunners, beware. Don't mess with bleach or you'll end up in despair. Stick to sunscreen and waves that you can ride and leave the bleach adventures for another seaside.